I recently read an article on f-stoppers about how to dramatically increase the performance of Lightroom. Um, I tried everything it said, wasn't much, it was actually just a reflection of the, the information on the Adobe website. I've also tried everything Adobe has recommended for speeding up the performance of Lightroom, but on my machine I just have a dog slow Lightroom installation. So I want to show you that my machine is a decent machine, um, but I found one extra trick uh, to speed up that performance, but I've never seen it talked about. So I want to show that to you today. First off, show you what machine I have. I have the, the 2013 Mac Pro. I have upgraded both the CPU and RAM. So I have the, the, the maxed out 12 core Xeon and I have 128 gigs of RAM. I only have the D500 cards. I could do the D700 cards, but it's just not worth my money. I'd rather buy the, the new Mac Pro someday, but not now. In any case, it's a decent machine. What I want to show you though is that the display resolution that you are running your machine at can also have an impact. So let me show you my displays. I run my machine at 3008 by 1692. The default, if I were to select default for display, would be 2560 by 1440. But on my machine, you know, I could go 4K. It's just I want a good balance between text size and the screen size of my monitor. Um, I'm running a 34 inch 4K monitor. So let me show you that with Lightroom running at one of these interim re resolutions here, that it's actually slower dramatically. So I'll load up Lightroom here, load blog. And I have some photos uh, to show that I, I was out photographing the comment, uh, comment Neowise the other night. So let's go look at those. Now I do have my um, images on a network drive, but once I've been operating with Lightroom, all this is going to be cached. Um, my uh, previews and everything are local. So. so that wasn't too bad uh, as far as loading, but let me show you this. I'm scrolling over here. I've scrolled to the bottom or I've scrolled to the top. You can see how jerky that is. Let me go into develop module. It takes a while. It's going. It's going. All right, develop module. Let's expand that. You can see it's just dog slow. And if I want to scroll through that, it's really slow. Now let me show you. I'm going to change my resolution change this down to the default for display. So I'm now at default for display resolution. And you can see it scrolls much smoother. It's, I'd still love it to be a bit faster, but all of the UI elements, uh, they open and close as I would expect. And if I'm flipping through images down here, it's decent, it's, it, it's not the greatest. Let me also show you that if I go up to the 4K resolution, it the performance will actually be about the same. So let me change my display again. Ah, I closed it. Displays. So I will now go to full 4K resolution. Now I'm in the full 4K. Come back here. If I just flip through images, it's actually fast again. So, and if I look at my UI elements, third. Decent speed, same as at the uh, default resolution. Um, the reason f I believe for this is on macOS, I can go ahead and close out Lightroom here, and I will drop back to my default resolution really qu quick to show you something. Actually, before I do, uh, what I'm going to do is take a screenshot. Um, nothing special about it, so I'm just going to take the screenshot, Command Shift 4. Spacebar, mouse click. And now I'm going to drop my resolution back to my default resolution. Actually, I'll go first to 2560. So, okay, now I'm back at the default resolution. I'm going to just take another screenshot. Command Shift 4, space, click. And then finally, I'm going to go to my standard resolution, the one that is slow for Lightroom. So, here I am at this resolution. Uh, and again, a screenshot. So Command Shift Four, Space, Click. 
So let's go look at those snapshots now. I have them stored either in documents, no, not screen sharing, then it's over in pictures. Here are my screenshots. Here's the first one I took at 4K. Let me drag that down. Second one. There again, it's a photo that was my default resolution. The image uh, is actually the same as the 4K. We'll go back up here and you'll see the difference is there's no um, resolution aspect uh, added, but the dimensions are the same. So both of those are 4K. When Mac OS, um, for Mac OS to give these interim resolutions, what it's actually doing though, and I'll show you here, look at the dimensions of this screen. What it actually does is it doubles the dimensions. So I, I run it at 3008 by 1692. The screen that's actually rendered is double that size, uh, double in each uh, in the X and Y dimension. So it's 6016 by 3384. Uh, if I were to run at the 3360 by 1890, it would be even larger. And what I believe the problem is, is that Lightroom has trouble rendering on my hardware. Mac OS renders at the higher resolution and then scales it down. That's what gives me the super clear text, which is wonderful. And in most applications, it's not a big deal. But I believe this is where Lightroom uh, really struggles. Be nice if they could get that fixed. Don't know. Um, but I've I believe that's the actual issue for my setup. Anyway, maybe you found it interesting. If so, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.